Hey everyone, it's Lee at My Productive Mac here with a quick video on how I use Alfred to get information on the movies and TV series I'm either watching or that come to mind when I'm on my Mac and want to find out a little bit more about them. How popular are they? What's their Rotten Tomatoes rating? When were they released? Who directed them? All of these things are easy to get thanks to this simple but effective Alfred workflow. Now first things first, where does this workflow come from? So I'll put a link in the description below, but this is the URL that you're going to go to. A simple Google search gets you here and full credit to the author for creating this. Then it's just a case of clicking on the download link. I'll click allow to enable downloads from this site. And it's a very quick download, as you can see. So I'll click here to view it, then double click to open. I'll just change the category here. Now you don't have to do this at all. I've just got a habit of clicking a drop down whenever I see one. And you can edit these two values here if you wish. I'm going to change this locale value here, change that to UK, and then click Install. And that's the workflow installed there. I'll just close this window behind. And all of the workflow stages are over here on the right hand side in a flow structure. Now you don't have to do anything here at all if you don't want to. It works really well out of the box. And the two keywords that you're going to type in are movie and TV. And if you want to change one of those keywords, so let's assume movie is too many characters for you when you could just type maybe MV. I'd click on the block here. The keyword is at the top. So I'll change this to MV, then come down and click save. But you don't have to do that at all. I'm just showing you how you can modify one of these keywords in Alfred. And you could do the same with TV here as well. Although why you'd want to change that, I'm not too sure. Okay, let's see it working. Right, I'll invoke Alfred. I'll type MV as that's my new keyword and then Guardians. Now I don't need to tap return or anything. I've got a load of responses there already and I could use the keyboard shortcuts on the right or the arrow keys plus return to select one. And then once I've selected one, the results change. And what I've got is a mixture of resources and information down here. So at a glance, I can see the IMDB rating for the Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special was 6.9. I can see it was 93% on Rotten Tomatoes and I've got links to Metacritic, Letterboxd as well. I can get to the official trailer on YouTube. I can search for it on all rating sites that are configured in the workflow. And I can see at a glance who the director and the writers were as well. Now on its own, I think that's worth installing this workflow for, but some of these here you can select and now go to the source site. So Rotten Tomatoes here. We can see I'm taken to the holiday special page and the reviews in there without me having to do any kind of searching for it. So that's pretty cool. Let's close this and evoke Alfred again. And I'll look for a different movie this time. Let's go for Top Gun. Like I see the top two there are probably the ones I'm going to be most interested in. If I just wanted to know when the original Top Gun movie was released, I can see it's 1986 there. But I want to know about the follow up, which I've not seen yet. I've heard it's very good. And the scores here seem to bear that out. This one has a Metacritic result, which Holiday Special didn't. And you will find that as you use this. I've always got a result pretty much from IMDb. You don't always get something from the others if nothing's been registered there. Well, let's check that this watch trailer option works. And there we are. YouTube opens, the trailer kicks off. So that's a nice quick way of getting to trailers for stuff that you want to add to your watch list. OK, let's check the TV one works in exactly the same way. I'll look for Ted Lasso. There's only one result, of course, so far. So I'll select. And the same options and information appear there at the bottom. Now, if I select search this time to open all rating sites, what should happen is it should open IMDb, Metacritic, Letterboxd and the trailer, I think, as well. Let's see. And yep, indeed, we've got four tabs open here. So we've got the trailer. We've got Letterboxd. And the integration is a little bit hit and miss with this. Sometimes it returns completely different titles or it doesn't recognize the reference number at all, like here. Now, Metacritic, I usually find is OK. And I've got the title here. And of course, IMDb, the standard for us all, has almost 100% success rate on everything that I've searched for. OK, let's just do one more quickly. I'll search for Shrinking, a TV series I've just started watching with my daughter. And just to show you at the bottom here, at a glance, you can see the director and the writer of the film or series, which is really useful. So that's a quick tip there on something that may not make you more productive when it comes to work. But productivity isn't just about the work that you do. It's about making the most of the time that you've got available to be happy in what you do. And this workflow helps with that when it comes to my media consumption. If you want to see more tips and tricks on how to be more efficient with Mac OS, iOS, iPad OS, all the OSs, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.